the bronchoscope is about to enter the upper airway and we see the vocal folds about to open in the midline. We orient ourselves by noting the epiglottis, which is anterior, and the airy epiglottic folds laterally and small swellings in the position of the cuneiform and corniculate cartilages. And we see the false vocal fold uh, superior to the true vocal fold. The bronchoscope prepares to pass through the vocal folds into the trachea. We are now passing from neck to chest. We see the C-shaped tracheal cartilages and the trachealis muscle posteriorly. We approach the carina, which is at the level of the angle of Louis, and we note the right and left main stem bronchi. The bronchoscope enters the right main stem bronchus and enters the lobar bronchi to examine the segmental bronchi. We note at this level the bronchi are surrounded completely by muscle. The bronchoscope now enters the left main stem bronchus to examine the lobar and segmental bronchi, and we note the carina-like appearance of each successive division of the bronchial tree.